One of the tools that is really taking our world by storm right now, and particularly for those of us who are entrepreneurs, is ChatGPT. And ChatGPT is an amazing little tool. It gives you the ability to get answers on all kinds of things. And I want to show you in this video how you can use it to get a compendium, a diagnosis of what's going on in a particular area. You get a real nice Cliff Notes version, if you will, of what you want to do. Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and I'm your guide here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, where we talk about ways that you can look live your life in a live and let live manner. So you're living peacefully with what we like to call the non-aggression principle to help you help others. And one of these tools that really helps us to build our business is ChatGPT. It gives you the ability to do some congealed thinking and get a concise um, reference of something. Matter of fact, let me show you right here. I've got this on my computer here and I want to uh, show you what I typed in. One of my favorite authors and one of my favorite philosophers is a guy named William James. He lived back around the turn of the uh, 18th to the 19th century. He was a professor at Harvard, uh, founder of American psychology, he's called. And he talked about something called pragmatism. He's got an essay on pragmatism that I'd highly recommend you look into it. But before you do that, if you haven't read it yet, why not get a synopsis of it? And that's what I did right here. I'm looking at the, uh, the results I got from ChatGPT when I plugged that in. And uh, I wanted to show you what you can do with similar kinds of things. Look what I did here on this gave me, as you can see, quite a few web results that came back, and then it gives me the instruction that I had here. So you can see I had a query there, and the query that I put in uh, was, uh, let me make this just a little bit bigger for you there, and you can see it says, give me a summary of William James's uh, essay on pragmatism, that's the name of it, essay on pragmatism, uh, and that he and sorted into 500 words or less and put it in the language that a 10-year-old would understand. And so I did that, and just a few seconds later, it came back and gave me these results right here, that William James was a philosopher who wrote about thinking called a thinking way of thinking called pragmatism, all about things, uh, how to look and how if they work, instead of just um, believing something because someone told you it's true. James believed that the truth is different for each person and that we should focus on what is practical and useful in our lives. And I think that's something we've got to look at and we think, okay, what do we need to do? Pragmatism, very important. But you see what I just did with that is I was able to get it in a condensed form talking about something that is readily available. Instead of going to the library, going somewhere and buying that whole book, reading the whole book, you can get a condensation of it. Or even better, it gives you enough to get started with it, and then you can go back and read the full text. It's not that long of a book anyway, but it would be a good thing to have a condensation of it. And this gives you a real advantage. Think about ways you can do this to get the essence of what you need very quickly and to be able to learn how to do that. Matter of fact, I would recommend going in and try running a chat just like this on your own. Do that so you can see what's going on and do that with a number of different books that you'd like to read. You know those books that you've been thinking about reading for a while? Well, now's a good time to do that. And these are some of the things we talk about at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. If you bounce over to StarkRavingEntrepreneurs.com, you'll get a chance to hear about what we do, how we help people just like you as entrepreneurs to increase your business, learning about tools like ChatGPT and more. So I appreciate you joining me today and I'll look forward to hearing from you later.